Oh hi the camouflage 2018 Honda Accord prototype is circling Honda's high speed oval at its Tokigi test center, a short Shinkansen ride from Tokyo, and doing its best to replicate the bullet train's impact on spectators there's no warning no I think I hear it approaching. No exhaust trumpet sneaking ahead announcing its pending arrival nothing there is only the lightly rustling of leaves, a particularly annoying crow and then 1.2 seconds of fury as a 10th generation Honda Accord prototype breaks all of the wind somewhere near 130 miles per hour. There's a sharp gasp and the young woman to my left is wide-eyed and staring at blank space where a car used to be this is not the traditional way a car maker reveals that it's eliminating a beloved naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 and replacing it with a potentially lower horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder but every once in a while a show of force is required to show the world you can still throw down no. never in the last five years. Junji Yamano, chief engineer and leader of Accord Development, confidently tells us when asked if a V6 was ever really on the table for his new midsize sedan through a translator, the engineer gives the same pitch every other car maker gives when making this switch, flatter torque curve, earlier low-end power, increased fuel economy when not on boost this isn't a shock as the turbos not cylinders engine strategy was a significant shift for Honda that was designed to work with most, if not all, of its vehicles. If you've been paying attention recently and putting the pieces together, you'll have a correctly guessed that this is a derivative of the Ohio-built barnstormer that powers the wicked new Civic Type R. While that engine produces 306 horses, the one in the new Accord will produce fewer, Honda confirmed.